Hey guys, welcome back. Now before I start the, the video today, I just want to do a quick review on uh, a reel I got recently. It's the Sea Knight Storm Spirit in uh, 1000 size. Now I got this reel because I was looking to uh, just do really light brim fishing and that kind of thing. So I really wanted to get a, a 1000 size reel to match up with a, a 1 to 3 kilo rod. So the main reason I got this reel is that for the cheap price of $36, it comes with two spools. So a main spool, which I've put four pound, four pound braid on, and then a spare spool, which I've put four pound fluorocarbon on. On top of that, the spool was actually uh, salt water ready, according to the description. But I'm going to tell you why I don't think that's the case. So the first thing I did when I got this is I stripped it right down into its individual components as much as I could. Um, the first thing I noted is that there are two oil ports down the bottom which are extremely flimsy and do not seal very well. So that's the first weak point in the, in the reel. The second weakness is that none of the bearings are sealed or shielded. So if you get any salt water into the reel it's highly likely that it's going to get into these bearings and eat them away. Now to me that says that the reel is not salt water ready. This is, when you're fishing in salt water conditions, you really need things to be as sealed up as much as possible. So what I did is I basically filled the whole thing with grease and oil where appropriate to try and keep out as much of the, the salt water as possible. I don't really go into all of that number of ball bearings or, or anything like that. For me it's all about feel in the hand, um, drag on the fish and whether or not it's actually going to last to the conditions. So another issue I tend to have with the reel is that the, uh, the bail wire tends to get in the way when I'm, when I'm casting. It sort of doesn't, just doesn't sit back far enough and tends to be quite thick and awkward. As it stands I, I have it now and I, I have the two spools and uh, I do use this a lot because it's such a, a handy little size, it's nice and lightweight and it goes really well with my um, low, low rating rod. Now having the two spools has actually been a real time saver for me. So a lot of the time I'll start fishing with the, uh, the braid and tie on a leader and then as soon as the leader is too short or if I break off or something like that, I can just go switch straight to the four pound uh, fluoro spool and then I'm straight back into fishing. I don't have to spend the time to tie a new leader. So the body of the reel is uh, quite good. I did notice some flex when I was uh, applying the, the braid especially. I, I like to really put the drag on when I, when I put, my, put the braid on. So there was some flex in the, in the body when, when I was um, spooling up, but I think that's just because uh, you know, such a small frame, it's not going to have a lot of strength no matter what it's made out of. My, my final recommendation would be uh, do not get this reel. I would probably spend the extra $7 and get the Shimano Sienna on AliExpress or look for one of the other brands or models that are offering uh, shielded bearings. So in a nutshell, that is the Sea Knight Storm Spirit 1000. So today it's ultra clear water. Man, and I am just going to be fishing some Sydney drains. I can see some small, smallish school brim floating around. And uh, I'll be using this 124th jig head with pearl white. There we go. I think I picked the hottest day to come fish. I think it's meant to be 38 degrees today. So hopefully I don't. Oh, the tide's starting to run a bit now. So hopefully I don't fry. But here come the snags.
Oh, yes, straight away. Straight away. Oh, there's a bunch following him too. Tiny little one. Just tighten the drag so I can get it out. Straight away, first cast. Hmm? First cast. Just like that. All right, here we go. Settle, settle, settle. Just like that, first cast. <laughs> All right. Whew. Cicada season. So not much luck with the, the fishing today, just the one that you've seen there at the start. So I'm not gonna bore you with too much other GoPro footage. I'll say a quick goodbye now and I'll put together a little bit of a, a music montage if you are interested in just seeing what the drain looks like. So that's sort of like a, a high tide as it's running out and uh, as the footage progresses, I'll move towards the mouth of the creek. The creek itself is White's Creek in Annandale. So if you're interested in drain fishing, come check it out. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you liked the review and uh, I hope you liked a little bit of the, the drain fishing. See you later. So thanks for joining me while I come and try to fish Sydney's drains. I still haven't cracked the real secret of the, the drain fishing, but I'm just starting. This is the first time I've actually come down to fish any of these drains or canals. A lot of what I've been doing have actually gotten from watching another YouTube channel called Windsor Bait and Tackle. So I'll, I'll link to those guys down below this video if you're interested in you know, more drain fishing and stuff like that, or learning how to fish drains, because he's got a lot of really good informative stuff on his channel, so check it out. Mm -hmm.